Radio Engineering Graphics and Design. This is episode 3 in my series on how to hack your pad. Now your actual pad document should be looking similar to mine. You've seen in my previous video, episode 2, how I've taken you through the entire pad for this year. We're going to skip to the first actual page that you need to prepare for your pad. And that is found here on page 11 where they talk about phase one, the presentation requirements. Now to get this done, we're going to have our highlighters here again, and I'm going to talk you through exactly what is required with regard to the first part, number one, formulating the design brief. And please remember, this detail is also in the checklist and the actual pay setter, which I will show you just at the end of this video. Of course, if you stick along, if you stick around long enough, you'll actually see some practical examples of how to do this. So, here we go, your phase one presentation requirements. So, let's look at this. They ask you to analyze, right? That means really think it through and gain understanding the given scenario and then formulate a design brief in two paragraphs. Okay, so you're going to have paragraph one and paragraph two. The first paragraph must be in your own words and give a brief background to the project as well as detailed description of what has to be designed. So it gives a background to the project as well as a detailed description. Now if you look at what we've done here, okay, this first part here was the background. It's a new building, okay, for a non-governmental organization. There's a competition. All of that's the background. You have your own design firm and you have to come up with a suggested design solution. That's the background to the project. That's the first part. As well as a detailed description of what has to be designed. So here you need to go to what is it that you're going to design. You're going to design a media center with a kitchen and toilet facilities. And you can just touch on the fact that this media center will have a library part but also a computer room part. The kitchen will have storage etc and toilet facilities all right that's your first paragraph don't here elaborate too much detailing specifications that's not what this is required it's only a brief background and a detailed description all of this must be in one paragraph only one so it's about six or seven lines okay your second paragraph here the second paragraph, again, in your own words, so you can copy the words out of the design brief, must give a clear overview of your role. Okay, so de detailing what is your role in this project. In other words, you were designed, uh, you were tasked to come up and submit a suggested design solution. That's your role. You are the one coming up with this solution. And a description of the complete design process. So you have to describe in steps, what is the complete design process? That's going to be, we're going to do a specification and constraint list. I'm going to come up with a management plan. I'm going to do research and then I'm going to come up with two concept designs. And from that, I'm going to evaluate and come up with a final solution, which will be a working drawing of a floor plan, etc., etc. The evil, uh, evil, elevations etc etc okay that's the design process and that needs to be in another paragraph again five or six lines that you are going to implement to complete this pad so to highlight that the first one is the background and the detailed description the second one is a i've got a flyer come on give a clear overview of your role in the project as well as the description of the complete design process Can you believe it? The fly is irritating me. Okay. Then, what else is required? From this, from this scenario and your teacher's management plan, which of course is the pay setter, include the following as part of this design brief. You have to come up with at least 20 of the given specifications. Okay? List at least 20 of the given specifications. Then you have to list at least five possible constraints. However, the specifications that you have listed may not be repeated or reworded as possible constraints. So these constraints must be unique. That's what the sentence means. It must be not repeated from the specifications. So you can ju can't just put the specification in the negative. It's five constraints. I'll give you some examples. You also have to come up with your own management plan that specifies target dates for the completion of each presentation requirement. Ladies and gentlemen, all of this should be able to fit on an A3 page. 
The only item here that can have its separate page is the actual management plan. Okay, that's another A3. Okay, okay, I'm going to help you with the specifications here. Now, of course, your page looks like this also, I'm sure. To highlight the specifications out of that, we can just go to what was given. And as we read here, we can see the media center consists of a small modern library. That's a specification with a separate computer room specification. That computer room must have 10 built-in computer stations specification. The entire media center must be 180 square meters specification with one entrance in the form of a double aluminum and glass swing door. So that's a specification. So you can go through this and you should be able to identify specifications for the media center, the kitchen and the toilet facilities. What I would suggest for you is make sure, remember, you have to add at least 20 specifications. Group them, have media center and then all the specifications that you can list. Have then kitchen and the specifications, which is here found in blue. And the last one is your toilet facilities, which is the ones in pink. There's, of course, more general specifications that you'll find up here that talks about it must be an L-shaped or a T-shaped single story brick structure, double pitch hip and valley roof. Those are all also specifications but if you're able to gain your 20 specifications out of this part then some of these can become your constraints for instance you are limited by just doing a brick structure that's a constraint you are limited by the fact that it must be a single story that's a constraint it must be either l-shaped or t-shaped so that's a constraint you must have a double pitch deep in valley roof that's a constraint. You can come up with other constraints yourself, but there has to be five constraints and 20 specifications. And make sure you group those specifications. So whether you have 10 here with a media center, five in the kitchen and five in the toilets, that's your total of 20. If you look further at what's required for this first page, we can go to our checklist. Now, this is important because in your design brief, your heading on that page will be design brief and you will have a one next to it. Your first paragraph will be numbered 1.1 and it will have that background comprehensive description of what to design which I've discussed. 1.2 will be the number next to your second paragraph and that will be your role and the description of the design process you're going to use. 1.3 will be that list of 20 given specifications and you're going to break that down between at least the media center, the kitchen and the toilet. 1.4 will be your uh, constraints and that's five of them. All right. Then 1.5 is a management plan with possible target dates for all presentation requirements. That's basically the piece, page setter that's available in the downloads or the description below. So look at that and you're going to convert that. You can't use it as it is, please people, but you can convert it into your own management plan. Let's look at an example of these from previous years. Okay, the first one here is a great example of how this page can look. You'll see the first paragraph numbered 1.1 correctly and the overview of the project. The second one is 1.2 and the role. Of course, this isn't necessarily complete. Yours can look different. And then the list of specifications. There's 20 of them. So kindly number them. That will make it much easier for marking and the constraints. The management plan. Here's an example of that that you can have a look at. You have to have your hand in dates, complete that, and your signatures on the side, okay? And your list, checklist, and your due date. Okay, here's a second example. Of course, it's Afrikaans, but it again details the title of this page. Each paragraph is numbered, giving the overview and the background. In here, your role, all of this in your own words, of course, and the process that you're going to follow. And then your specifications is 1.3, and you can list them. I would recommend to keep two headings, so have your media center, your kitchen, etc. And then not only bullets, but make these numbers so that it's easy to count them. And then at the end, you're going to have your constraints. Uh, let's look at the example of the actual management plan, which is the next page. And that will be 1.5 in your document. So here it is. It's got a list of all the different phases and the requirements. It's got the due dates. It's got the actual handing dates and the signature of the different phases. Okay, so that's an overview of the first part of your actual design brief and management plan. You can double check your own requirements here on the checklist. If you've done all of that, make sure you go tick, 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 tick. And so that's the video on design briefs. In the next video, we'll look at the research and how to actually approach that. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.